Located in the newly reopened parking deck on the corner of Boardman and Phelps Streets is the Grayland Gallery. Inside, visitors can find just about anything under the sun. All sorts of like uh, vintage curiosities and things that would be you know, decor. Rocco Sate says he's been collecting vintage items ever since he was able to walk to a garage sale. He says while his inventory may seem random, every item has been carefully picked. It's not all necessarily from the 50s or not all from the 60s or 70s, but there's a certain, there's, there's a, something that weaves it all together in the style. You come in here and just kind of hang out, you know, you can pick out a record you want to listen to, put it on and walk around and Enjoy yourself, hopefully. We can play our own records in here? Absolutely. All right, Rocco, so these are some of the sculptures that you have here, right? Where Correct. did you get these? Yes, it's all by a, a lady that's from Canfield. Mm -hmm. Her name is Wilma Berkey. And the sculptures themselves are, you know, 20 plus years old. Something else you might find here, it's a TV light. A TV light? Right, back when um, you know TV hurts your eyes, so they would have lights that were made just to go on top of the television, just to kind of diffuse the you know the direct lighting of the television. Really? Yes, yeah, so this is this is one of those. And it's not tacky at all. Sade also carries vintage audio equipment, including turntables, eight tracks, and boom boxes. I need something to play my old fat boys cassette. Right? Right. Yeah. All you can eat. <laughs> This is our uh, table of prints, mm -hmm. and they're priced generally. The small ones are five, the medium ones are eight. One unique thing about Grayland is that everything looks like art, whether it's the lighting or even the furniture. That's an old bar. It has wheels. It probably came out of like a hotel. Mm -hmm. like is this for sale? Area. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Is everything in here for sale? Everything is for sale. Man. One of the things that caught my eye was a box labeled Memories. Why These are just people's photos. They are, they're snapshots. This like, is just a guy with a fish. This is a lady eating. This is the same lady at a birthday party. Who is this lady? A random hill. You could pretend you have a family. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what can someone expect when they walk in here for the first time? Well, free coffee. <laughs> Free coffee, all right, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Sate says he hopes Grayland will become a gathering place for those seeking something unique. It that's, almost seems like a scene. Yeah, that's the idea. I okay. mean, it's definitely the idea. I mean, you know, to encourage people to come in and kind of like hang out, maybe read a book, bring a book or a laptop. Excellent, well, all we need now is food and, and booze. Right. <laughs> for The Daily Buzz, I'm Michael Moliterno. Well